Here's how to easily set up your Bamboo X1 Carbon 3D printer with the AMS2 Pro and how to start your very first 3D print. First step is to open the boxes and it came with three boxes here. Once you got everything unboxed, this is what you'll end up with. You have the AMS2 Pro here, you got the actual 3D printer and inside the box over here was a couple different filaments. You got some PLA, ABS and you have your power supply, a couple cables. So now we'll get ready to dive into assembling it. Step two is to take off some of these protective seals and we'll get started on assembling this 3D printer here. Quick note, be a little cautious when peeling off the top seals because it is securing a piece of glass. Another tip when removing the seals off of the front door, it is secured in some type of bag and you have to peel back this adhesive but then it makes it tricky when you go and try to pull it out and remove it this adhesive gets caught on the back door here so a good thing that you can do to make it easier is cut off this section here and then the seal can be easily pulled off on this end here the next step is to remove this cardboard up top here and then you're going to cut this zip tie securing the tool head then you're going to take out the box and so the foam is on the inside of the machine. After that, it's time to cut the zip tie and also remove the cardboard from the tool head. And remove this piece of foam in here. Next up, you're gonna open the box that we got from inside of the printer and you're going to see some PLA screen. And underneath these items, you're gonna grab the tools that we'll need for this next step, which are the Allen keys, a spool holder and inside of this accessory box contains some of the screws that we'll need. So for this one we're going to grab these bolts here for the screw holder. Now onto the back side of the printer we're going to grab the larger one of the two allen keys and take off this screw here. And then you're gonna install your spool holder with the two screws that you grabbed earlier. And make sure to install it with this side top up and with this side with the holes closed off facing towards the machine. The next step is to go inside of the printer and we're going to unlock the print bed by removing these three screws with the red indicators. There's some foam padding underneath the print bed that needs to be removed, but this is going to be removed in a later step once the print bed calibrates and raises up. Now it's time to install the screen. When you're installing this, make sure the slot is facing to the right. Peel off the tape to reveal the cable, and then you're going to attach it into the screen. If you have a difficult time installing the ribbon cable, there are two tabs on the left side and right side. If you squeeze those two while pressing it in, it makes it go in so much easier. Now just take the screen assembly and you're going to install it into these grooves. Once it's pressed in, slide it to the left. Then you're all secured and ready to go. Now just peel off the protective film on the screen, remove this label from the printer bed, and another protective film on the tool head. Now install the glass on the top. And from here, you can be ready to print while installing a spool on the back and running the filament in here. But since we have the AMS2 Pro, we're gonna be installing this next. First step is to remove the protective film. Now open the lid, remove this foam and this bag here. Inside of the bag includes the six pin cable that you'll need some tubing, and some desiccant. So now take the whole AMS unit and set it on top of the printer. Once it's set up on the top, we're ready to get to the backside to finish the rest of the setup. It is time to install the filament buffer and you want to make sure to use the two longer screws that are supplied and you're gonna install it right in the center on these two screw holes here. Now that the filament buffer is installed, we're going to take the tube for the filament and install it into the filament buffer. You want to press it in until you feel a click. Then you can give it a little tug, and if it doesn't pull out, 
you're in good shape. The next step is to take a tube coupler and then attach it on to this tube here. And you wanna make sure to orientate it matching the sticker with the blue side going to the left and the black side going to the right. Press it in until you feel click and you give it a little tug to make sure it's locked into place. Then you're gonna take more tubing and put it into the filament buffer on this side. Press it in, make sure you're lined up and then give it a little tug. If it's locked in, you'll see the spring compress and you're good to go. Then take the other end of the tube you just installed and install it onto this end here of the coupler. Then give it a little tug to double check you're locked in. Then it's time to install some cables. Next step is to take your four pin connector and connect the printer to the filament buffer. And take note that both ends are both four pin connectors, but you're gonna want to use the side that looks like an L to go directly into the printer. Once that's pressed into place, take the other end and put it into the filament buffer. Now take your six pin connector and attach one end to the top AMS2 Pro, and you could attach it to either side, either left or right side. There's another port here in case you had another one of these to run multiple colors. Now, once you attach one up here, it's time to attach the other side to the filament buffer. In the last clip, I didn't have these cables seated all the way in because I was doing it with one hand. So you'll want to make sure to press these all the way in until you hear and feel a little click on these tabs here. Same thing goes for the bottom. Now it's time to go inside of the AMS2 and remove the packing from the desiccant. This desiccant material helps keep the filament dry and prevents damage from humidity. Once you remove the outer packing, place the desiccant material back into the slots on the back side. We're almost ready to load up the filament, but before we do, we have to power on the printer. So go to the back side and take one of your power supply cables and throw it in to the AMS up top. And then get your power supply hooked up to be ready to be plugged into the wall. And then you're gonna take your other power cable that was supplied and throw it directly into the printer. Now, we'll plug these into the wall and then get this powered up. So now it's time to load the filament. So when you set the filament in, make sure it's orientated where the filament is running over the top. So that way it could be set into the slots here. And to load it, you're going to press this tab towards the filament spool and push it in. And it'll automatically feed it into the system. Then repeat the steps for the rest of the spools. Now that's all set up, we can close the lid and then we'll continue with the rest of the printer setup here. To set up the printer, we're gonna go through the rest of the menu. So we're gonna hit English, go to next and select our region and we'll get the Wi-Fi set up. There'll be a QR code here where you can scan and get set up with the Bamboo Handy app or you can hit skip and go to next. Once you get set up on the app, you can hit agree to terms and condition. And here, I'm just gonna hit skip and then it's time for the calibration. And hit calibrate to start the process. And this is where we're going to get ready to remove the bottom foam pieces. And the nice thing about downloading the app is you can see live information about your printer. It'll show you what colors you have installed. And there's a bunch of other features like printing remote and monitoring the status of your printer. And the nice part about the calibration process, it does have a status percentage indicator showing you how far along you are in the process. Now that the print bed is out of the way, we can remove the foam that's underneath and we'll wait for the rest of the calibration to complete. Okay, the calibration process is complete. So now you hit next and start printing. You may get a message that says a new firmware update is ready. So you can hit next to go to the update page and hit update. 
It takes about 10 minutes, so hit yes, and you wait for it to complete. Once your firmware is updated, hit OK, and you can go ahead and start a first print. There's a couple print files that's preloaded into the internal machine. So a good one to start with would be Benchy. And hit next and print. Then we'll be ready to start your first print. And just like that, your printer is already set to go. All right, the first print is complete and quality is amazing. And this printer is pretty easy and straightforward to set up. So if this video helped you out in any way, feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more helpful videos like this.